What is good guys? Back with another video. Today we are going to be going over some tackle. I guess. Uh, but basically I'm just gonna go through it with you guys, make sure I have everything that I need ready for the trip that I go on tomorrow. We go to um, Michigan, we go and we're gonna go and fish Lake Kalamazoo, which is a lake. No, so there's Lake Michigan. There's a there's a river that leads all the way down it like that, and leads down to a lake. The name of it is Lake Kalamazoo. There's some hotels by it. There's some little cabins that we're gonna be staying in. And yeah. So it's basically what we're gonna be doing for the next week or so. But yeah, let's go over and tackle. Right, so, the first one, this little thing, has some hooks in it. I don't know about, no, there's, no, there's not any weights. Um, yeah, first box, just hooks. I don't really need any hooks in it. I might not even need any box. Second one, we got some well, spinner baits. This probably costs like a dollar at Walmart. A little black and blue one. There's a white one, and it kind of looks like that. It's supposed to look like a wacky, wacky rig, almost. I don't know, maybe. And then, oh, this isn't even a spinner bait. The crusty old little jig. Looks like a finesse jig. I don't know, maybe. And then there are some little bandito bugs. The hook in it and everything. Got there's one of those. There's a black and blue one. And these aren't Gugan by the way. And then this is all Crack and crawl, it looks like. That also is not Gugan. I don't have that many Gugan things. I have a couple, but that's about it. Here's a little hula popper that I will never use. I don't know why I have it. Another one. But yeah, that's about it for that box. box. This, I used to have those hula poppers in. And some other ones that are in my other box. Here's a little um, scout. Also, not gigging. I just like to call them scouts. Here's a scout junior. So it's smaller. And yeah. And then we have a yellow, orange, and black with a little bit of red. A uh, square bell crankbait. Never use this. Might use it when we go on vacation. Probably not. And then here's a little um, rattle trap. I caught one fish on it and it bent the hook. But it was the only time I ever used it, so. Yeah. Some spoons that I will. I might use them. Maybe. Probably not on this trip, though. Some. Huh? Okay, so. Here's a little. They're stuck together. But it looks like a little frog, with, but with a treble hook and a square. Or, yeah, square bell on it. Wait, no, that's not a square bill. I don't know. And then, same thing over here. Except, it's, this one's not a frog. It's just super old. This looks like an old chatterbait. Kind of. 
I don't really know if this is or not. Oh, no. Yep. And then, a little one. That's about it for that box. And like I said, I do not have that much tackle. Here is everything I'm going to be taking on vacation. So, first we got these little $3 um, paddle tails right here. I got these at Walmart. I got these little blue and black worms with the little tail on them. These probably cost a dollar. I don't know where. Here's a Guggenbaits uh, Bandito bug. But I cut off the top and took off all the sides and left the bottom. I just used these as trailers. Um, here's a little Z-Man Chatterate that I got at Bass Pro. I've used it a couple of times, but I'm not really a big fan of it. Here's a little um, finesse jig that I also got at Bass Pro. This has a, it's not a Guggenbait, but it's supposed to imitate a crawdad. Yeah. Um, ooh. So we got a little Guggenbait's Rattle and Ned. I don't know what color. This might have cost about five or six dollars at Bass Pro. Got one of these, and they even come with a rattler, which is pretty weird. But yeah, there's a rattler. Put that back in. And then here's a little split tail. I also use that for the same thing. Basically, you just take one of these mushroom heads and you just do this. And you thread it through quite a bit. And Basically, it's supposed to end up straight up and down on the hook. So the hook stands out to about here. But yeah. And then it'll bounce on the bottom like that, and it'll come across. Small mouth will love it. And then I got these at Farm King the other day. These cost about maybe $2.00. They're a little black and blue, or black and red, with a little silver tail on them. Yeah, I got a bunch of them. And then, for top water, I got some, here's a little hula popper. I don't know how much this costs. We've, I've had this for a while. Yeah. I've used it a couple of times. I haven't caught a fish on it yet. Here's a little hula popper. This I got at I think Bass Pro. But yeah, um, this is actually a really nice one. It's my favorite. But basically, it'll move around the water like that on the top. Here's bait that I don't think I've ever seen. It has a little propeller on the back. It's a top water. Yeah. And that's. Eh, I might have another box. Hold on. I'll be right back. Alright, guys. I cannot find it, but I'm sure I'll find it here pretty soon. Um. Yeah. That was my tackle for right now. Hopefully in the future it gets a lot bigger. <laughs> but yeah, um, we are going to have like maybe a three video series in uh, Michigan at Lake Kalamazoo. 
Um, but yeah, that's about it. So, that was my first video. See ya.